This is the new Beat Solar Buds. I got them back in June when they first released. Now first thing I have to say that these earbuds are not for everyone and in this video you'll see exactly why I say so. But before we get into that let's jump into the unboxing. Here we have the case with the beads inside. This is a matte back color right here. You guys wanted to see a review on the matte back color so I went ahead and got the matte back color for you guys. Looking for the, the black ones, right? Yeah, yeah that one. We do you have them? If you just want to hang out, buy kind of like that AirPod sign, I'll send somebody right over for you. Alright, thanks. I actually had this transparent red color but I gave that one to my mom since she fell in love with it at first sight. We also have right here the extra ear tips which comes in large, medium, and small oh and also the one that is on the earbuds now is the extra small ear tip then we have some paperwork but you guys already know we don't read paperwork around here because this video will tell you everything that you need to know about the Beats solar buds but what we will take a look at is the Beats sticker that sticker can go right here on my asus laptop out of the box this Beats solar bud is really small when you compare it to other earphones like the airpods pro 2 I will be doing a full comparison between the Beats Solar Buds and the AirPods Pro 2 on this channel so subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Now let's set out the Beats Solar Buds. First connect them to your iPhone like this. Open the case up and place them close to your iPhone and it will come up with the option to connect them. Note that once you connect these to your iPhone it will be connected to any other Apple device that is signed into the iCloud that is on this iPhone. Once you connect them you can go ahead and use them. Inside the settings you have the option to customize your Beats Solar Buds. You can name it whatever you want. You can also change what pressing and holding on your Beats Solar Buds do. You can either have it control CV or control your volume. If I check this on you can see my left bud will turn the volume down and my right bud will turn the volume up. If you want you can change that around also. Next up we have call controls. Where pressing once will answer your phone calls and pressing twice will mute and unmute the microphone and pressing once or twice will end the call. You can make it however you want but mute and unmute and end call cannot be the same action. Then we have automatic ear detection. What I've noticed is that this is not really as smart as the AirPods Pro 2. Alright guys, so at the moment I'm watching this video on YouTube from RJ and it's connected but it's not inside my ear and it's actually playing while it's in the case. So if you listen closely, it's actually playing while it's in the case and it's not even in my ear so it's not really ear detection. However, at the moment I close the case, it stops playing right away but when you open the case right it doesn't play back automatically you have to go here and then go here and then connect to your ear pods your beats i mean and then press play and now it's playing back on the ear pods while it's in the case but you can also open it right after it's disconnected and it will connect it won't play right away but if you take it out and put it in your ear and then you just press play on the earbuds itself by just tapping it one time it will start playing back right away and even when i take it out of my ear it's still going like it's not really automatic ear detection i don't think there's actually ear detection to be honest but here it's like giving you a description so automatically transfer the audio route from connected device to the earpods when yeah this is not even an earpod so 
I don't think this applies to the beast solo boss. I'm not sure. This could be a bug right here. Like I'm pretty sure this setting should not be inside the settings right here because there's no automatic gear detection as I said. Then we have the microphone settings which lets you choose which body you want the mic to be on. Whether it be the left or the right or even just have it switch automatically between left and right earbud. Then you have the option to use this in Find My which we'll be testing out later on in this video so stay tuned for that. Then you have accessibility settings you have the option to have spatial audio ed tracking following your iphone you also have the option to turn off and on the case tones then you have the option to adjust the tone volume then up here we have audio accessibility settings first you have headphone accommodations where you can customize the audio even more and then you have background sounds which you can turn on if you want you also have the option for mono audio i'll be keeping that off because because stereo audio is so much better. Then you have phone noise cancellation and headphone notifications. I'll be keeping that on because I think it's good to hear your notification while your earbuds are in your ear. Then we have balance and the LED flash for alert. Back in the main settings under accessibility we have about which gives you more specs on the Beats Solo Buds. And here is where you can go to disconnect or forget the Beats Solo Buds if you want to. Now these are the cons for the Beats Solo Buds and it's not really cons because for a 79 dollar earbud you can't really expect noise cancellation adaptive audio spatial audio and other features that you will find on the earpods pro 2 that costs three times the price of the b solar buds you also don't get the option to recharge your buds from the case there's no speaker on the case itself to help you with find my and you don't get that precision find my option the case doesn't have a button to help you when pairing to a new device and it also has no wireless charging all right guys so believe it or not i thought that you could get apicare on these buds but when i went to buy apicare here after getting it i don't see the beads solo buds as an option you have all the other beads but not the beads solo buds but when i first bought the first pair which was a red transparent pair the lady at the apple store actually offered for me to get apicare and i refused it but she mentioned that i should get apicare in case i lost it or in case i drop it and damage it or something but i'm not sure if she made a mistake because here on the website i'm not getting the option to buy apple care for the beast solar buds but one thing you do get is warranty so you do get like one year warranty right here so i guess that covers order services and chat and support so yeah no option for you to add apple care right here you only get a limited warranty which lasts for around one year so yeah that's kind of sad i was expecting they have apple care but i guess not also guys another con that i came across recently is the button on the beat solo buzz like it's all good and all but to press them it's kind of uncomfortable like especially when you have them in your ear like this and like this and let's say you want to turn up the volume or answer a call or mute the microphone you have to like push it down in your ear for it to press and you don't really get it at the right spot like you have to press up here to get it right and not down here and sometimes you press down here by mistake and you're like pushing it inside your ear more which kind of feels uncomfortable but if you click it at the right spot it does the job really well but sometimes it can get really uncomfortable whenever you're pressing it like you're kind of like guessing where to press it those are all the cons that i came across while using the beast solar buds let me know if you come across any other cons while using the beast solar buds in the comment section down below as there are a lot of cons there are also a lot of pros when it comes on to the beast solar buds one is the battery you get up to 18 hours of battery on both earbuds which i don't think the earpods pro 2 can do in one charge it is small and lightweight it has usb type c it charges super fast i believe you can get a full charge in like one and a half hour and one hour of battery life with just five minutes of charge also guys as i said before you don't get case sounds but when you plug it in you do get that charging sound not sure if you heard that because it's actually coming from the buds itself so let me open the case and let you hear it again so i'm gonna plug it in and you should hear the chime 
there you go hopefully you heard that on speaker if you have an iphone 15 or a device that supports reverse charging you can charge it with that device also it is natively compatible with android and apple you can also control siri answer calls and control the volume by just pressing the buds those are the pros when it comes down to the b solo buds let me know if you come across any other pros while using the Beats Solar Buds in the comment section down below. Let's talk about sound quality. If you're looking to spend $79 and get really great sound quality, then sorry to break the news to you. You will not get that with the Beats Solar Buds. I don't think you'll get that with any earbuds in this price range to be honest. The sound quality is decent for the price though, but don't expect to get earpods Pro 2 sound quality out of these buds. Alright guys, so this is the Beats Solar Buds microphone let me know in the comment section how does it sound does it sound good decent or bad and this is the iphone 12 microphone let me know how it sounds compared to the beats solo buds now let's test out the find my feature in find my you can get directions and you can play sound but the sound that you're playing is coming from the earbuds not from the case itself you can do left and right earbuds or you could do both if you want and you can also get directions to them but you can't get like that precision find my that you have with the earpods pro 2 so that's the only downside but you can definitely play them and play the sound i'm gonna go ahead and play the sound for you guys now so hopefully you guys are hearing this sound and that's the left and right earbuds playing right now and this is just the right earbud playing at the moment see it's kind of lower and then this is just a left earbud playing at the moment you can see it is also kind of lower again and then this is with two of the earbuds playing at the same time and you can see it is pretty loud you should be able to find them with this sound playing but you don't get a precision finding so you're gonna have to like guess where the sound is coming from and it also gives you the last known location for the earbuds so that can come in pretty handy when you're looking for your earbuds i also don't think the beat solo buds is smart enough to like ping off other iphones like how the air tag does so it's just going to give you the last probably connected location i guess that's just pretty much all the information you will get also guys check this out right here so the magnet on the beat solo bud is like literally so strong you can do this and hold them together like that but look at that you can even shake it and it's not coming off it's pretty good <laughs> it's almost one of those magnets that you used to buy in school now here are my final thoughts on the beast solar bud now i think personally beats did a good job with the design of these earbuds as mentioned in the intro the beats solar buds is not for everyone if you just want a wireless earbud and not looking to spend a whole lot i will go for these for sure and if these aren't enough for you you can work your way up to getting the airpods pro 2 but don't get me wrong these are still good to use at the gym listen to your podcast listen to your audiobook listen to your favorite artists and also talk on your calls let me know what you think about the beat solar buds in the comments Comment section down below subscribe for more videos like this if you're interested in the beat solo buds a link will be down below in the description so check it out if you want to grab one for yourself that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace